I guess I wanted to tell you more about uh, what I'm learning about Twitter. So Twitter exists in kind of many different clouds or idea spheres. And uh, there are some people who use Twitter not in a great way. And I'll, I'll just name two kinds of people. So um, and I'm going to start with the one that's less nefarious in a certain way is the advertisers and people who are using various um, devices or you could call them bots to uh, upload multiple images and thoughts and just release them on a regular basis. So um, advertisers do that, the large product advertisers. There are also people who will tweet out wisdom, for example, which may be nice, or actually there's a bot that I've followed, uh, which is the James Joyce bot that keeps on uh, sending out uh, James Joyce quotes, for example. But the thing is that those aren't current and there isn't really a real mind behind them. And I don't know why, I haven't found a blog post on this, but what Twitter has done, it seems to me, is that they're trying to suppress that as much as they can. Uh, what the social media people have figured out is that current thoughts and thoughts of real people are what counts and what makes the medium live. So I've learned that if I figure out that an account is doing that, it's just sending out marketing spam in a certain way, I certainly don't follow it and I even might mute it or block it. Uh, and that might include people like um, Google, the general Google account or the Google Chrome account that I was looking at. Uh, and it might include the accounts of, um, uh, you know, corporate accounts where it's been given over, given over to a marketing department. Then on the other hand, well, then there's a whole other bunch of people who are just there to generate a knee-jerk reaction. And those people might include, uh, well, there are all sorts of different ideologues and they may not be aware that they're doing it, but... Uh, the way they see the world is, um, uh, you know, they, they get a kick out of getting a reaction. And if we react, then, um, or they want us to get a reaction. That also includes people who, for example, post GIFs, graphic interface images, these short moving images, which are not informational. They just show a reaction to something, but it's not really informational. So, those certainly one gets rid of and a whole bunch of other people. So what do you have left? Uh, um, what is, I believe, emerging, it's starting off in the tech sector first, is some really intelligent and thoughtful people who know that through sharing their insights and thoughts on Twitter, they're going to gain uh, interesting conversations with people that they might never have otherwise met even if they'd attended the right conferences. And the great thing here is that you don't have to attend the right conferences. And if you start following those people, then there's really a lot of, it's a, it's a fire hydrant of valuable insight and information. It starts off mainly in the tech world, but I think it's gonna to expand to many other places. So uh, in summary, what have I learned? It's to, um, first of all, tweet out things that are genuinely interesting, that I find genu genuinely interesting, that I think others will find genuinely interesting. What does that mean? Um, don't tweet out something to get a reaction. Don't tweet out something because I'm trying to convince somebody of a message and if I just think if, if enough people see it. But share something that I think somebody would be interested to pay attention to. And then um, pay attention to those kinds of people. So I've really been learning about this from Marcelo Lima, who's really quite good at it. Uh, but there are, there are a number of other people. And I guess if you want to get in touch with me over Twitter, then uh, we can have a further conversation about how to do that. I'm still learning how to do that. Thanks.